Oh god. <laughs> I feel like I should make a series out of this because all of my thoughts just come to me um, after midnight <laughs> and it is really late right now. Let's just make it somewhat a series. Call it late night rumbles or something. I don't know. Because I can't... I can't sleep because of my thoughts. It's just all here in my head. So I thought if I ramble it to a camera or something, maybe I will be able to sleep finally. We'll see how that goes. Today I wanted to talk about life goals and stuff like that. Also, I wanted to talk about the reason why I'm always mentioning my age and I'm always saying like, I'm 17, la 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 la. So yeah, that's kind of a topic for today's rumble. Just to start off, I just want to say that I am always saying that I'm 17 and stuff because I don't want to come across as a person who thinks that they know everything and they, that they figured out everything and I always want people to understand that I am very young and I know it, I know that I'm very young and I know that probably in like five years I'm gonna be a completely different person and that scares me actually, it, it really does because it kind of just erases everything that's happening now it kind of just erases the importance of what's happening now because I know that I'm gonna be a completely different person but again what's happening now is making me into a person that I'm gonna be in five years um, so why not leave right now uh, but this 17 year old thing and the age thing just in general it leads to life goals in my case because I I have life goals I have a massive one I'm not gonna say what it is because I don't want to like mess it up um, and then people are gonna point me at that and say that Ooh, your life goal was that. You didn't seem to get any closer or anything. Yeah, some people know, some people don't. That's right. But I do have a huge life goal. I also have a few little ones here and there. Sometimes my goal is just to get out of the bed. Um, sometimes the goal can be to, I don't know, visit a friend's house and it's a goal. But thinking about life goal is a massive thing it's kind of scary as well because if you're so young and you don't know what you're doing can you really set yourself those goals can you really uh, trust yourself to set these goals and do something for it if um, in a bunch of years you're gonna be like what the fuck was I doing it for if it's not that important does it worth it oh my god I'm so sick it's late, I'm sick. What is this video? Uh, what was I talking about? Life goals. I guess life goals, yeah. But I guess it does worth it, because while you're going to that goal, the main thing that you're looking at, and like the main thing that you set yourself, um, while you're trying to do it, you're doing some little steps here and there. Maybe not so little, maybe there's a giant steps because your goal is so far away. But you're still doing it. I think of it as a tree of some sort. Like, you just stop, like, here's your starting point, and then you just go up and up and up, and here's your goal. And you're like, okay, I'm gonna go towards that goal. But whenever you feel like it, you go, you can go to a different branch, and that's reassuring. It makes you think that you have control over everything. And I like having control over everything. I'm a control freak. That's not good. I want to feel like I am what I am right now. And I don't want to think about what's going to happen in five years um, in me, because you never really do. Um, and some people change drastically within this range of time. Some people don't really. And I think my mindset now is all about the community aspect because I I really like when people respond and I am a huge fan of just communicating with people especially through in, through the internet because I'm quite awkward in real life when it comes to the internet I think 
it's a really great platform to just get on with people and feel free um, to be nice to each other. I'm all over the place. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't even know when this is gonna come out. Whatever. But I think that even in five years, it doesn't really matter um, on whether or not I continue making YouTube videos or I'm gonna continue making music or whatever I do. I want to say this aspect of just communicating with people. I want to be there for people and I said it already in my previous video I think but I still want to do it. Three days pass I still want to do it. That's a good sign. I hear a lot of people in their 20s who say that um, oh when I was 17 I did that, this weird thing. I was so weird when I was 17. I was so young and naive and I didn't know what I was doing Am I gonna be like this when I grow up? I'm just going on in circles, there's, there's going nowhere. I don't wanna feel incomplete. I don't wanna feel like everything leads up to something in my 20s or 30s or 40s, I don't know. Um, that's why I'm not a fan of this whole plan of life, like the stereotypical one when you're going to, f you're just born, school, university, job, family, children, retirement, death, and that means that you're kind of just living your life towards what? And I guess I want to live in the moment, although I really like looking back to the past and reflecting on things that have been happening to me when I was like 15 or maybe 14 or maybe 16, and I really do that a lot, maybe I should stop doing that just continue on being here. I guess it just sets you off when you hear people saying these things about 17 years old, 17 year olds uh, and like the teenagers just in, in general and I guess that makes sense in a way because like yeah we are young and naive and stuff and we don't know what we're doing, I'm under 18, what the hell do I know about this world? Um, I know nothing, but I want to feel like I do s know something and that I can at least handle my own life a bit. Uh, but again, I'm not saying that I, I know things. I don't. I really do not. Uh, but yeah, it's just this thing about... Yeah. <laughs> I've been rambling. But I guess that's in the title. And you know how people do like drunk videos. So I guess I'm drunk by the night. Um, <laughs> Cause I, yeah, it just always happens to me. So, um, especially when I'm sick. So it's a great, great time to film a video. I guess I'll see you in the next one. I, uh, that this has been late night rumble, uh, late night rumbles with Zedley. I am heading off now. If you like this type of stuff, give it a like and sub subscribe to my channel. I guess it doesn't uh, really pop up and recommend it because no one searches for this stuff. But yeah, um, let me know in the comments what you think. If you have any thoughts about that. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Uh, goodbye.